I was playing poker with a friend who was taking me to the cleaners with every hand. It was like he knew exactly what cards I had. And the more we played, the better he got. So I said, what the f He says, got some time? He's got all my money, so I've got nothing but time. Then he said two words, poker ranges, and then said he could predict what my whole cards were and even know how I might play them. I said, I need more. He said, first, you gotta understand that poker is a game of incomplete information, but limited possibilities. There's 169 possible combinations for your first two cards. Then he shows me this chart. He says, this poker range matrix shows you every possible starting hand. Every pocket pair from aces to deuces are along the diagonal from top left to bottom right. All the suited combos, marked with an S, are above the diagonal, and the offsuit combos are below, marked with an O. And I'm like, okay, but that doesn't tell me much. He goes, because you need a calculator. I'm thinking, a calculator? No, not like that, he says. Like these. He says you use them to track your opponent's play, and once you've learned how to use it, you'll get important information to help decide your actions. He claims that a poker range calculator can show you flop textures by evaluating the board's composition combined with the range of cards your opponent could be holding. Hold up, I tell him, trying to make sense of this. Is this legal? Yeah, he says when you know the texture, you know the range of hands they may be holding. Okay, I say, I'm listening, but I still don't know what I'm looking at. So the other guy could be holding any one of 169 combinations. How does that help me? He says, here's an example. You're dealt offsuit ace-king. You raise and your opponent calls. Through watching and deducing, you believe that 15% of the time your opponent will call. He explains that a poker range calculator can show you the top 15% possible poker hands. You want to know how your hand stands up against your opponent's hand range. The calculator shows that offsuit ace-king has 61.36% equity over your opponent's 38.64%. I say, that's good news, right? Yeah, he says. A poker range calculator shows how much or how little equity some hands have when played against certain ranges. And that's the info you want before making your next move. My face must have said, oh, wait, what? So he continues, together your poker range chart and calculator give you a range of possible hands. Instead of thinking your opponent can only have ace-king, you've got to think that he or she can have ace-king, ace-queen, a pair of aces, and some bluffs. Hand reading is about figuring out the hand range more exactly, not finding a single hand that your opponent is holding. I'm like, my opponent could have a ton of different hands. How do I narrow it down to one? That's impossible. He says, yes and no. Gamblers are sort of predictable. They play in ways that give them several hands for the same series of actions. When they play a certain way with only one hand, then they are very easy to read. It's also very easy to play against someone who raises very large preflop with only a pair of aces or kings. No kidding, I tell him, you fold. Yeah, sure, he agrees. But every bet, raise, and check is information you can use to understand what your opponent might be holding. You have to take into account bet size and timing. You gotta start with a wide hand range and gradually shave it down as you get more info. Every one of your opponent's actions lets you remove more hands from his or her range. If someone calls your preflop raise, you can usually eliminate hands like ace pairs, king pairs, and ace king from their preflop hand range. They'll almost always re-raise pre-flop rather than call. I don't want to tell him that my head hurts and I'm a little nauseous. He agrees that this is a lot of information to process during a hand. He promises that it gets easier with experience. Practice makes poker perfect. I'm telling him I'm getting that embroidered on a pillow. Then he warns, strap in and pour another beverage. Here's a full example. You're on the button with ace-queen and looking at a raise from under the gun. That raise opens 17% of hands. You plug in the possibilities. In this case, you call and the blinds fold for a heads-up pot. 
The flop shows you have a solid hand. Your opponent bets half the pot and you call. Raising is not an option because that would fold all of his or her weak hands, leaving only strong ones. That's not an ideal situation. You can expect your opponent's betting range to be all top pair, over pairs like aces and kings. Your opponent doesn't have any two pairs on this board texture. Now you expect your opponent to bet this range. This is your opponent's value hand range, or the range of hands he or she will be hoping to build a big pot. They'll have some bluffs like ace-king, suited king-jack, suited jack-10, and maybe suited ace-jack. But keep in mind that the number of bluffs is very dependent on how your opponent plays, which you've been noting, right? The turn brings a flush draw and your opponent bets half the pot again. Apply the same logic and expect him or her to slow down with some weaker hands. The river's a blank, seven of hearts. Your opponent should slow down with anything less than AQ, quad twos, or a set of fives. So your opponent's final range, including bluffs, may look something like this after opening under the gun and betting three streets. With ace-queen, you can call or fold depending on how much he or she bets. In this range, ace-queen shows 33% equity. With two to one pot odds, you can call, and if your opponent bets larger, you should fold. If your opponent bets smaller, you should still call. Then he says something completely insane. If you want to improve your hand reading skills, play without looking at your hole cards. I'm like, well, wait a minute, what? He says, yeah, cover that part of your screen with a sticker. Now you can focus on your opponent's hand, not how your hand works with the board. It's great practice, even for veteran poker players. I tell him, yes, of course, I've got it all right here in my swelling, aching head. Like a reassuring father, he puts his hand on my shoulder in sympathy. He says, once you understand what a hand range is and how to apply it, you'll never go back to your old way of thinking. Putting your opponent's playing style on a range starts as a guessing game, but as your skills improve, so will you. Improving your hand range construction skills is in how you can take advantage of your opponent. The player with the best hand reading skills comes out the biggest winner every time. The next time we played, I'd like to say I cleaned him out. I didn't, but I played a heck of a lot better, and I'm getting the hang of poker ranges the more we play. Can't wait to get my hands on a newbie, you know, to uh, help him out. <laughs> what?